Hello everyone, welcome to Back Me Channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Mob drama breaks out at the Metro court party when Curtis is hurt and rushed to surgery. According to General Hospital, once a party starts in the Metro court, Curtis Ashford may find himself in a frightening predicament. Although Port Charles will observe Independence Day a little later than usual this year, there will still be a 4th of July party where people can socialize. Tragically, catastrophe will occur at this party. Before someone is struck down at the gathering, shots will be fired, and the most recent sod issue reduces the number of prospective victims. They state that the victim will be one of these people on the cover, Dan Falconeri, Curtis, and Porchy Robinson, Brooke Kerr, Sonny Corinthos, or Anna Devane. Since Anna already went through a similar plot when an armed Victor Cassidine shot at her, we can definitely check her off the list. It is unnecessary for Anna to be in a life-or-death situation at GH so soon. Given that his family members seem to be going about their everyday lives normally in spoilers, Sonny might also be safe. In the event of a medical emergency, Sonny's kids would undoubtedly be there to help him. Since Dante will be working on a theory over the week of July 10 to 14, he might also be safe. It appears that Dante will focus on catching the criminal rather than getting over being the victim. That only leaves Portia and Curtis, although Curtis is probably more likely to suffer a setback and have a difficult time surviving. Nina Reeves is a close friend of Curtis, therefore she might be upset about his position given that we know she will receive some terrible news. Trina Robinson will also experience complete emotional exhaustion as a result of her current situation. Trina will be seen turning to Spencer Cassidine for support, which is consistent with the victim being a person close to her. Given all the preceding hints and Curtis' new biological paternity, it seems to reason that he will sustain injuries. Trina might worry that she'll lose her biological father so quickly after learning the truth. Portia might also be able to forgive Curtis for his secret kiss with Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper, as it will appear so insignificant in comparison to Curtis' terrible experience. Will Curtis find himself in an awkward situation at the wrong time and possibly become involved in Sonny's mob drama? Could this be related to Selena Wu, Lydia Look, Curtis' own mob connection? Curtis leaves General Hospital Jordan, new guy is unveiled. Choosing to go back to Portia after giving Jordan the kiss of hope on General Hospital, Curtis certainly put Jordan in a difficult situation. Despite their troubled past, the once married and now divorced Jordan and Curtis remain friends in the soap opera. Jordan does, however, still harbor romantic sentiments for Curtis, which his kiss further reinforced. But now he wants to reconcile with Portia, his present spouse. Jordan is left to pick up the pieces by herself. Will Jordan actually need to do it alone, though? Because GH is promoting a new coupling that could garner enormous popularity. Need to learn more about. TV season and spoilers. Continue reading. Jordan chooses to cut ties with Curtis. Jordan was holding certain secrets from Curtis at the time their marriage ended, and he felt betrayed by her decisions on General Hospital. Perhaps the most important thing for him in a marriage was honesty and openness. When Curtis discovered that his most recent bride, Portia too, had been holding a significant secret, history was repeated. The newlyweds were severely divided by the truth, and Curtis soon found himself relying heavily on his ex-wife Jordan for assistance. The two of them gladly exchanged a passionate kiss during a weak time. But soon after, Curtis made the decision to go back to Portia and make an effort to save their union. Jordan was consequently saddened and left feeling somewhat played on General Hospital. He even had the gall to beg Jordan to keep the kiss between them on the down low, as if that weren't enough. He also urged Jordan to wait for him while he worked out his marriage to Portia, as if even that weren't enough. Fortunately, Jordan dearest remembered that she has a spine and defended herself. She resisted holding out for Curtis, She's actually prepared to ascend out of limbo right now. 
Even as she thinks she needs more time to enter a committed relationship, she's open to trying new things in the works. A or is it Prince Charming? Fortunately, Jordan won't have to wait too long to be completely blown away on General Hospital, because the creators are waiting with the ideal new partner for her. They also recently administered a little chemistry test for them, which they aced with flying colors. None other than Zeke Robinson is the subject of our discussion. G8 fans have been blown away with Jordan and Zeke's relationship. So much so that Zordian is being shipped for the newly formed love interests. Tanisha Harper and Gavin Houston, stars of General Hospital, have a lot of potential to turn Jordan and Zeke into the show's next major coupling. In addition, the existing couples are making the soap opera redundant, so any new romance would be greatly appreciated. Zeke's return to the soap opera has given rise to other new stories, in addition to the loved one. Zeke has so much potential to be a huge success, especially since he is an attorney and there is constantly so much flirting with the less-than-legal actions on the soap. It appears that he will remain here. How do you feel? Do you agree with Zio or Deanne? Liz's romantic disappointment, Curtis getting grilled, and TJ and Molly's breaking point. According to General Hospital, Tracy Quartermain will provide Martin Gray with a challenge, but he is already hiding important information from Lucy Coe, Lynn Herring. Will Martin's decision to assist Tracy behind Lucy's back lead to him getting into even greater trouble? Lucy will yell at deception about what would happen if their rivals got their hands on the data that was downloaded from Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storm's computer. Although Brooke Lynn Quartermain will accept responsibility for the download, she will deny knowing about the sensitive information and try to persuade Lucy that she was only trying to be more informed. Brooke Lynn will be aware that Lucy and Maxie will be keeping a closer eye on her going forward, though. It won't be as simple for Brooke Lynn to escape punishment if she is caught doing something illegal again. Brooke Lynn will meet Tracy again in order to give her some depressing news. Tracy won't be pleased with her granddaughter's most recent report, since Brooke Lynn will admit that they have an issue. If Curtis Ashford will be home tonight, Marshall Ashford will inquire at the Savoy. Marshall made the decision to move out, but he hasn't yet actually done it. Marshall will fish to see where they stand and whether they'll both be sleeping there later as he's still residing at Curtis and Portia Robinson's home. In addition to discussing how his kiss with Jordan Ashford added to the drama, Curtis will likely vent to Marshall about Zeke Robinson's, Gavin Houston, choice to reveal it. Marshall and Curtis will be joined at the Savoy by TJ Ashford, Taj Bello, but he'll be quite preoccupied. Since Molly Lansing Davis was so frustrated by all the obstacles, she put a stop to their family planning. TJ will inform Curtis and Marshall that they cannot continue in this manner since it has likely caused their relationship with Molly to become more emotionally distant. It appears that TJ will worry that they are about to snap. While Molly is overwhelmed by having to pursue a different path, TJ will seek to persuade her that they can still have the family they always wanted. Sam McCall, Kelly Monaco, will be by her side when she asks Alexis Davis if there is any news. Molly should admit that she probably won't be able to have a biological child and express concern that perhaps parenthood isn't in her future. Molly will open up to Christina Corintos Davis on Thursday's episode as well. All of this is leading up to Christina's astonishing suggestion, so it's possible that she'll soon suggest that Molly and TJ consider having a child. Elizabeth Baldwin will be told by Hamilton Finn, Michael Easton, on GH that he has spoken with Violet Finn, and her attempts to play matchmaker will be thwarted. Although Finn will adamantly state that there won't be any more romantic dates in the future, both Finn and Liz secretly wish they could. Finn and Liz will in fact have an open chat in the upcoming episodes as Terry Randolph pushes Elizabeth to be open about her emotions. For the time being, General Hospital spoilers indicate that there will be a lot of shared longing.